Okay, so in this lab here, we're going to be investigating a variety of different light sources. We're going to start off by looking at classroom fluorescent lights, these old incandescent bulbs here, and we're going to compare it later on to different element discharge tubes. We're going to be using these spectroscopes here. Notice that they're triangular in shape. You're going to be holding it from the narrow end. There's a tiny window that you can be peering through uh, from the spectroscope here. Directly across is a thin slit that we're going to point towards our light source. As the light tries to come through this slit here, it's going to bend and diffract towards the right-hand side here. There's a scaled axis 4, 5, 6, 7, representing the 400 nanometers all the way to 700 nanometers here. Even without the spectroscope here, you're going to see the most intense colors that are emitted. The spectroscope here will just help give you a more detailed look of uh, what colors there are, um, some of which may be a little bit less intense, some of which may be a little bit brighter. Uh, and we're going to be able to analyze uh, how did the spectra differ between uh, what should be continuous sources to our element spectra later on. So I'm just going to show you here with this uh, tungsten bulb here. I'm going to just turn on this light bulb here, uh, very, very bright. Uh, obviously you see sort of a tone of maybe a yellowish orange color. That's probably the most intense color so far. We're going to still uh, look through the spectroscope here. We're going to look through the narrow end. We're going to point uh, the slit towards the light source. And then we're going to look inside the spectroscope. Uh, sometimes the light may actually reflect um, many different ways and whatnot. We're mainly focusing on what ends up on the right-hand side where we have the 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to be uh, coloring in uh, the different bands that we see at each of the positions. Uh, I know our spectroscopes here aren't super quantitative, so just do your best with it here. Uh, give me an overall difference between uh, how do these light sources here compare to our element light sources later on. Thanks, guys. All right, so we're going to be investigating four different elements. Going from left to right, we have argon, hydrogen, helium, and neon. Those gases there are currently filling these gas discharge tubes here. Uh, there's two electrodes here that's going to uh, provide a voltage, top and bottom here. When we flip the switch here, the electricity is going to excite a bunch of electrons. The electrons temporarily jump up to higher shells. We're not going to see any of that. But as those electrons there start falling back down to their ground states here, as they need to give me back the energy, uh, typically it's in the form of light here, and it's actually going to give us a nice vibrant uh, colors. Uh, every element will have its own uh, different energy spacings for the gaps there, so we can actually use the uh, element spectra as a sort of fingerprint for that element there. So uh, I'm just going to quickly flip off the lights here, and then we'll have a look at what it looks like. All right, so I just flipped off the light so it's a little bit easier to see here. Uh, I'm just going to flip on the power switches here. That electricity is going to excite those electrons to higher shells. What we're seeing here is the emission spectra. As those electrons start falling back downwards, uh, we're seeing um, the colors that are emitted. So even without the spectroscope here, we see uh, some colors uh, really dominantly here. So I see a really uh, bright orange light from this one, a whitish light here. You'll notice your gas discharge tubes here are wider near the tops and bottoms and a little bit more concentrated. That's actually where we're really pointing our spectroscopes here. I'm going to take a few pictures, uh, hopefully looking through the spectroscope for each of these elements here. Uh, we're going to sketch that uh, between 400 and 700 nanometers, and we're going to get a sense of how do these element spectra, how are they different uh, from the fluorescent and from the uh, incandescent light bulbs that we've seen so far. Thanks guys.